and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 with Super Mario and the Cheaters of Death. Have to keep going. So I was thinking about going straight into the village, but instead we'll make a little <coughs> visit at uh, Auntie Essel's first. <coughs> be helpful to get rid of those tattoos. Let's hear another chat. Okay. So, hmm? Will with a Y. Why? Why? That's right. But why? Why why? A great uncle's name, my father said. But I just figured he couldn't spell. Be nothing new. At this time, probably not everybody could read. Please, we just want Marina back. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see Marina. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I... I don't know what's come over these boys. Auntie Ethel's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Marina. Stop this! We... we won't ask again! Okay, everyone calm down and tell me what's happening here. Careful! Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the Hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Ethel, what did you do to the sister of those poor guys? Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hug has bring her. Okay, could. Someone please tell me what's going on now? It's our sister, Marina. She's... Well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Yeah, you are on your own, guys. I have different problems on my own. And we've no need of a mouthy bastard. Come on, Demir. We'll make our own way. Okay, I'm not so sure if that actually helps them stay alive. I know that if I totally do not care. They will stay alive. Watch how you go. There's a trap. <coughs> Pardon my English. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Ah. Which 
Lich Master, a cane. Uh, Warlock, a cane. That was a short call. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. So it looks like my time like that, and I thought it would just be after you dealt with ah, blood everywhere. Someone wasn't as fortunate in their choice of camps ah. as us. No ordinary creature did this. Red caps ripped the place to pieces. Food. That's curious. Some of you probably can't jump as far as I can. I will do the different way. To get there. Because... Really? Victor's path. Are you kidding me? Victory awaits. No time to waste. My faith will protect me. Like nothing. But then again, if you kill the original, the copies are gone as well. them get too close because uh, they tend to explode. These boots have seen everything. and learn.
On my feet. The tree that. Uh... Hmm, it must be the tree from the note to Carga. What's yeah, that cleft there? I just want to talk about that. So here we have the letter to Carga, which gives us an actualization for our quest. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Really? Oh, come on. Be <laughs> vigilant. There are traps here. Others lying here dead. So I guess I have to make a safe game here really quick. In front of the door. Because Last time I did that, uh, I couldn't attack the hack and I had to start the attack myself, which blocked me from the rest of the quest. <coughs> I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. You do not get no fucking... Oh, wait. <laughs> you get no fucking apology from me, Egg. Ah, I do like the mouthy ones. 
You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. That's Marina. Where are her brothers? My brothers? You saw them? Uh, they stopped by to pass on their congratulations. Said they'll be waiting for you at home. Uh, oh. But why didn't they come in to see me? All they left was a message, which I passed on, didn't I? Don't be stressing. And you, hush. Don't be upsetting the girl with such things. <clears throat> I do not think that I did that to her. Then you don't know her like I do. She's getting exactly what she wanted. Don't you fret. Besides, you should save your energy for that wriggler swimming in your brain juice. Fierce inconvenient, isn't it? Be with now. Oh, I haven't told her, so... Okay, something is wrong here. This woman, why is she here with you? Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. I'm inclined to agree. Let's not involve ourselves in this place any more than necessary. I'll talk about your Riggler, and that's it. Last warning. Cool. Uh, no, this woman definitely needs help. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. favors the fearless. <clears throat> oh, really, Vikings, another thin-blooded mongrel. like this high pitched oh, I'm the borderline frontier saber thing. Time for some bloody work.
moving. I will ascend. This is my time. Playing with your new friends. Bye bye. New friends. I can't have gone far. Red caps. What's next? Okay, I'm not really worried about them. Take you. Take you. It's been a long day. Better stop to rest soon. Okay, I've cut out a lot of cursing because for some reason we had this patch and always if there is some kind of a patch uh, it seems like games break down for me and they become unplayable. So usually we should be able to this oven and get in here for some reason we can't
Save Marina anymore. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. And the back door is probably closed too. Okay, just to finish off this uh, video, we will go back to uh, the grove now. all the background information about her that I have. Or probably not. I know I love spoilers. Sticking to the stuff that everyone knows. And I know that. I'm just bad at listening to my own advice. Selling and go to camp with my people. Get them some rest. And after that, Come I try to stay close. Out what's happening with the Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. I know the truth. You want the grove for the Shadow Druids. What? And if I've shown you that you can't talk to them to the reds there, that's why. <laughs> that damn nose of yours has gone poking in our business. Mistress Ollerton, I can explain. Shh, shh. No need. It couldn't be helped. Koga, what is the meaning of this? You think yourself quite the spy, don't you? Go on, tell him. Uh, 
Oh, uh, take this letter, Wrath. Uh, it will explain everything. What in the cloak word? Korga, have you lost your mind? Halsin is weak, Wrath. But in the shadows, we are strong. We are safe. There is no other way. You and Halsin welcome untouchables to your midst. You defile the grove for the sake of harmony. Oladin speaks truth. Who among you disagrees? Who would see this grove in ruin? The choice is made. Koga, burn the tainted away. Start with the snitch. As you say, Oladin. So I could persuade her, or I could check her uh, mind. But honestly, she tried to get all those refugees out of here and try to kill them and the girl with a snake so actually it seems like you want me to take your life so shall it be oh then come get it <clears throat> Why did he teleport over? Yeah, sometimes you should. Hope your soul is in good hands. Korga had turned to the ways of shadow. Her corruption ran so deep. Yet for her to die like this, under the Tree Father's gaze, perhaps it is justice. If only justice soothed my heart. A grove drenched in blood is no sanctuary at all. This betrayal, a poison that destroys its wielder. Swift as my feet can carry me. And we we'll got lucky that he didn't fall in there. Who knows where he would have ended up? So 
on the positive side we got some more food. Also we got three druids down who would have caused we probably would have caused the druids way don't more care about in, us. In here. No one does. We have to look after ourselves. That's what Mole says. That girl. I don't care what Mole says. Stupid and reckless. And the refugees got a little bit more time before they have to leave. see you in the next episode where hopefully I figured out why I can't get into the back room of the tea house. Till then.